today's video, we're going to be using Python coding. So have a look at how we can add, subtract, multiply, and divide a bunch of numbers. So when we load our app up today, we've got Python asking for us to enter a number. Okay, it's going to add these numbers together that we type in. So I'm going to type in 100 for my first number. It says enter a second number. So I'll type in 200. It does the maths for us. X plus Y equals 300. Okay, so it's just added those two numbers together. In the second section here, we're going to do a subtraction. So let's just put in 80. For our second number, we'll put in 60. And we're getting 20 as our answer. Easy. Next one's going to be multiplication. So let's do a 5 times it by 6. We get 30. The last one's a division. So let's do 40 divided by 10. We get 4 as our answer. Okay, so add, subtract, multiply, divide, super simple in Python. Let's have a look at how to code this up now. Okay, when you load up the Python IDL, the first thing you need to do is just go to File and New File, so you get a blank page to work with. Now I'm going to save this before I actually go anywhere, so I'm going to go to File and Save As, and I'm just going to call it Simple Maths. And we are ready to start with our coding. So I'm going to go up the top, and I'm going to put in a comment first of all. It just says Addition. Okay, that's just telling me in plain simple English that we are going to add some numbers together in this little section of code. Alright, you remember the computer skips over comments, it doesn't actually read them as part of your code. It's just there to help us out to explain what we're doing in our actual code. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we want to get the user to type in two numbers that we can add together. So let's put in the keyword input. Okay, remember input is a reserved word in Python that allows a user to enter in some information. So after the word input, we're going to put in brackets and quotation marks, enter a number. We'll put a colon, put a space and close the quotation marks and close your bracket. I want you to copy that and paste it onto the next line and just change the text in green there just to say enter another number. So now we're going to have two questions being asked to our user. They'll enter a number first up and then they'll enter a second number. Once they've entered those two numbers, we want to add those two numbers together. Okay, before we can actually add these numbers together, we need the computer to actually remember what these numbers are. Okay, at the moment, when we press enter after typing the first number, the computer just forgets what it is. Okay, it's got no way of adding it in with this second number. So what we need to do is we need to create some variables. Okay, variables, variables are basically things that hold some sort of information. So I'm going to create a variable before the first input called x. So I'm going to write x equals whatever the user types in. On the second line, I'm going to make it y. So y equals whatever the user types in for the second number. So now the computer is going to remember what the person playing this game types in. Okay, so when they enter their first number, it gets stored in a variable called x. When they enter the second number and type it in, it gets stored in the Y value. So now what we need to do is just print out on the screen X plus Y. So let's write in print and then open up our brackets and just write X plus Y. And what that is doing is looking at the X value that was typed in and then the Y value that got typed in, adding them together and then printing them on the screen. Well, let's have a go and see if that works. So save it first of all, Control S for the shortcut and then run it. F5 again for the shortcut. Okay, so it asks for a number. Let's just type in 10. Ask for another number. Type in 20. Okay, we've got an issue because it's just joined the two numbers together. It actually hasn't added them. Okay, let's just put the 10 at the start and the 20 at the end to get 1,020. Okay, and there's a good reason that this is happening. I'll just close this off and show you. When a user enters something in to the computer with this input section here, it comes out as a string of characters. Okay, what we need to do is change that string into an integer. So the computer knows we're actually working with numbers and not letters. All right, so what we're going to do before the word input just here, we're going to write in the word int, which stands for integer. Then we're going to put in a bracket, and then right at the very end, we're going to close that bracket. So basically, what the user types in now is going to be converted into an integer or a whole number. Do that for the same line below. Okay, we're going to convert whatever the user types in into an integer. All right, let's have another crack at that. So I'll press Control S to save. 
F5 to run. It's asking us to enter a number, so let's put in 10 again. We'll enter in 20 for the second number. And there we have it. 30 is our answer. Okay, so let's just put in some quotation marks here. Um, the addition of those two numbers equals, close the quotation marks and put a comma. Okay, let's just try that one more time to make sure it's working well. So I'll enter 10, I'll enter 30 this time, so we should get 40 for our answer. The addition of those two numbers equals 40. And there we have it. That's looking really good. Just get rid of that space there. That's our addition section all done. Okay, pretty simple. I'm going to cheat a little bit now, and I'm going to do a copy and paste job. Okay, so let's just copy and paste what we've got. Go down a few lines and paste it in. First thing I'm going to do is change the comment to subtraction. And now we're going to get the user to enter in a number. That's fine. Going to enter them a second number. That's fine. It's when we print it here. We're going to change it around a bit. It's going to be the subtraction of those two numbers equals, and instead of x plus y, it's going to be x minus y. So it looks at what x is, looks at what y is, and just takes away one from the other. Okay, simple. Save that. Let's test it. F5 to run it. So the first one, remember, is going to be addition. Adds the numbers together. Then it's going to ask for some more numbers. So let's just do 20, take away 5. The subtraction of those two numbers is 15. Okay, our maths is working. It'd be nice to put a bit of a gap between um, the two different sums that we're doing here. So what I might do, after the X and Y up here in the addition, I'm going to put a comma, and in quotation marks, I'm just going to do a backslash N. Backslash N in quotation marks just means we're putting in an empty line. Okay, so I'm going to copy that and put that in down here as well. So after the subtraction, we'll put in a new line, and that means we're ready to do the next one, which is division. Actually, there was multiplication in our example, so let's just stick with what we did in the example. Multiplication. All right, so X and Y, entering the two numbers again, that's fine. Leave it as it is. Just here, we'll just change it to the multiplication. Those two numbers equals x. Now, to do multiplication, we put in an asterisk. Okay, that's how we times numbers together. And then the last one, it's going to go down a couple more lines here. We're going to do division. Might as well do it all in one hit. Now, it's pretty simple. So in our division, x and y stay the same. We're going to print the division of those two numbers equals. Now just to divide numbers, in Python we use a forward slash. So x forward slash y. And we don't need this little n at the end because we don't need to make a new line after that because that's the end of our program. So control s to save. F5 to run. Let's see if we've got this right. So the first one's addition. 10 plus 10. We get 20. Now, 50, take away 30, we get 20 as well. Perfect. Now we're doing multiplication, so 5 times, well, let's say 4, we get 20. I should change the answers around a bit here, instead of having 20 for them all. Last one is going to be a division, so let's do 100 divided by 10. And the answer is 10. Alright, so that is our simple app all done. We know how to Add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers now using Python. Save that up in your accounts, and I'll catch you in the next video.